Hey guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video we're going through the Richmond vs Fremantle game um, in which, uh, did I get this tip right? I don't think I did. I think, I, yeah, no, this was one of my bad, I had a bad tipping so far. I've only got three out of six so far, so not the best. Um, I mean, a lot of people haven't gotten um, the tips right, to be honest with you. The Richmond tip, I'm pretty sure Richmond were favorites there by like 90%-ish. West Coast only had about 2% um, tipped or something like that against Ports. And then obviously the one tip that I didn't do the best was the uh, Collingwood um, game. I should have just gone with the crowd on that one as I'd already gotten my um, St Kilda tip right. But I don't like to change my tips midway through the round, obviously, um, given that I've already uh, done a video on it. Anyway, so got this tip wrong, but I think it didn't really hurt me too much. I mean, I'm not out of it with the tipping, but um, getting some tips wrong obviously doesn't help as I've now fallen a little bit behind, um, two tips behind to a lot of people. So I've sort of gone similar to what, um, sort of just had a similar to the top of the t tree. So I'm sort of same as what I would be um, as at the start of the round, same sort of uh, margin away, but a lot of people have jumped me given that uh, Collingwood result. But anyway, nothing much I can do about that now. Just need to, I guess, f know the teams better <laughs> and get better tipping. But, you know, th that's that. Um, so, yeah, let's go into this video. So, you have here, Conti 121 was just ridiculous. And it's quite funny now that since I got rid of her, if I go over here, manage team, uh, and we go over here, we go Conti. We just look at her stats. I got rid of her after two rounds. She's gone 84, 100, 121, and sort of almost become that midfielder that, um, yeah, that's probably going to hurt me, as well as Whitford going 78 and 82. Should have probably just kept with uh, Conti. But yeah, she just she came up huge, and she got, what, 30 touches and nine tackles in there. So she started to actually tackle in the last couple of weeks, as well as getting the touches, and that sort of just killed me off. Um, but anyway, nothing I can do about that. Now, I mean, you could, I could bring her in potentially for Whitford, who's been pretty poor since I brought her in. But um, anyway, um, Egan ninety seven was really, really good um, in herself, and yeah, she did really, really well. And seems like she's returning to some form. And if we look at uh, Egan here, uh, that's not how you spell it. That's again not how you spell it. There you go, Egan eight seventy four k. She's gonna go up again quite a lot with that performance. Whether she'll be consistent enough, and I think you could just say that it was sort of two tough teams that she played, and that's the reason why she didn't score the best. So it is actually a look in next week to see if she actually is valuable. I don't know who Richmond necessarily play. Um, I'll quickly bring that up anyway. But yeah, so she did really well. Dempsey ninety six as well. Dempsey, another midfielder, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, another midfielder. And if you look at Dempsey here, you'll see sort of bad performances and then a couple of good performances. But nothing really outlandish from her, and I don't know if she'll necessarily be the one to go for um, next week. So I don't think that's an option, but I think she's just returning to a little bit of form. Then you've got Sheeran, 76, and certainly someone that you could look to bring in. But, I mean, my defenders have all done... My defender's actually my top scoring line, which is really ironic because it shouldn't be. Um, my my forwards did uh, absolutely terrible this week in Phillips. She's got to be found to go to someone else as I'm going to probably go Horf, Everest, and Phillips up to um, someone and we'll just see how much value I have there. Um, as you can see with Stratton going down to Huntington, there's not really much... Um, there's not really much I can do to change things around to... Um, I really wish I hadn't gotten rid of um, Stratton and gotten rid of Phillips instead, as that was probably the better move, but I didn't expect Phil Phillips to drop a 38. Um, but anyway. Um, Seymour, 69, Brennan. Then you come down to these girls that don't really matter too much for fancy reasons. Uh, if we go to round six, let's just see who do, um, who do Richmond play. Richmond have the matchup against Gold Coast, which is a tough matchup, so I wouldn't probably be doing that. And then they have um, Essendon, etc. Who has the West Coast matchup next week? Let's just see. West Coast have uh, the Giants, so you could maybe go to Parker, depending on her performance. Um, but um, today, but we'll see with that. But, you know, 
there's no real Richmond players that I'm really looking at at the moment other than just monitoring Conti in case he goes off because that would be the type of thing that would happen to you would um, not do the best and then uh, come back and start doing really well once I trade her out. Then you have Ty, Ty Stanett, Str uh, Strom and Stanett. Stanett started off so poorly. She was on three midway through the second quarter or something like that. Uh, don't need that. I just wanted the fancy by quarter. Thank you. Stanett, you can see three, 19, 27, um, 19. She got away with a plus eight from a free kick that really wasn't there. She smoked, um, I think it was Conti, just absolutely smoked her high and got a free kick for holding the ball. And so that was a plus eight that she really didn't deserve. And that should have been a, an 11 point swing there. And that would have put her back at 57, which would have been more, I think, reasonable for the game that she played. And that would have helped out a lot, given the defense. Um, Kaufman, 58. Miller, 57. Miller had a shocker of a game. And um, if you look at Miller here, you'll see that she isn't really that, uh, that high scoring mid. Um, but I guess you can sort of understand that there's some girls that aren't just going to put up the 80 point barrier is sort of that um, 100 point or so game, that 85 point barrier. So for these, um, Benici here, just looking at Benici, you can see sort of really, really good performances and one sort of bad performance. So we're so used to these girls going absolutely huge, but if you look at it, there's no, there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 girls going over 100. And you see there's a lot of, and then there's that next batch of girls that go sort of high as well. But um, yeah, I'm sort of just monitoring some other mids just to see if there is anyone, but I don't really see anyone. And then, I mean, you could look at the ruck department, but um, I don't really see anyone there either that's worth picking up. I mean, you could switch to Edmonds as she's sort of gone nuts in the last couple games. Uh, Bree Moody did well as well against the Swans, but I mean, that was... She's done well-ish in the last couple of games. So you could look at her as well. Wakeford put up a really good performance against Port. So you could look at her. But um, I'm just trying to find ways to just, again, going on another tangent here. As um, There's not really much to talk about with this the game, to be honest. Um, Frio didn't have... Frio had a horrible fantasy night, to be honest. And didn't really do anything. But, I mean, they got the win. So that's all that matters. But, yeah, they just didn't... Um, 35 hit outs compared to 34 so they won that but 58 tackles compared to 83 31 marks compared to 41 so they were down on that as well and then they were also down in the um well they were up by 10 in the disposals and the free kicks there was a lot of free kicks I don't know the exact count 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 9 10 11 12 uh 14 uh, 17 free kicks to what I, I might as well just bring it up on the um on the AFL app and just see what was it. It says 17 free kicks to nine. So yeah, they gave away 17 free kicks, which would be a uh, 51 to 27 split in free kicks against points. And then obviously you had 17. So it'd be minus 10 to a uh, minus um, 42. So they gave away 32 extra fancy points just in free kicks differential. So yeah, just a really bad um, game for fantasy scoring for Frio. And you could look at, um, I want to just see with what Strom's done. Um, Strom is going to probably decrease in price, I would think, as she went up, she went down 68k. So I wouldn't be surprised if she goes down another, um, another 60 or so k. And uh, Schultz, I wouldn't be surprised as well as she um, goes down a little bit in price or stays roughly even. Um, so you could look at trying to get her to Strom or something like that, um, as Strom has, if I look again at my, the, the app again, who does Strom have next week? You could look at, um, GWS don't have a Ruckman, so you can't really do that. Strom has, where is it? Who does she have? She has North Melbourne, and North Melbourne Ruck Department, if we look at average points, we look at North Melbourne, their Ruck Department is Rennie as well as Emma King, and they sort of don't really combine for much. And we look at um, the Brisbane Ruck in Hickey. How did she do last week? Um, let's just see. I can just search this up. Hickey last week against North did 60. So you could look at Strom. I think she's one that um, you could definitely look at as a, a good Ruck for next week, but um, especially because she'll be decreasing in price. But, I mean, the Rucks are sort of out of there. 
but anyway that is pretty much the video I found a way to somehow stretch that out <laughs> a while but there wasn't really much too interesting about this game I don't really see much value in any of these um, any of the girls from Frio at the moment uh, with Bowers missing and I don't really see much value in any of the uh, Richmond um, girls outside of Conti and Egan there wasn't any debuts that I really noticed or anything and I mean the uh, rookie that I think I had for the week, Craig, she scored 38, so it wasn't that noticeable. I mean, it was still 38, still going to gain you some cash, but it's not going to be that big. Anyway, that is the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.